Hey guys, so show you the design process quickly before we jump into it. Pretty straightforward brief here. The client just asked for a tattoo of a tiger on the side of his forearm. So I knew I wanted something looking forwards. Found these pictures on Pinterest of the leaves and the tiger. Really liked it, just pieced them together. Adjusted the color slightly so it looks like we got the sun bouncing off the leaves. And then of course sunset at the top. Thought I'd change the eyes but decided against it. Got my stencil ready. And that's pretty much it for the design. So jumping straight into this pretty old tattoo actually. I completed this in February this year, so February 2022. Um, it's October now, so I haven't actually had the chance to get around to putting this footage together. I completely forgot about it. I've moved house, moved studio, um, just been moving around and then enjoying the summer. Um, completely forgot I had this stored, so getting onto it now. Starting at the bottom with all the dark areas, generally I mark all the black and the real dark tones out first. I've done a little bit of orange there, but I don't know, sometimes I just make it up as I go as well. Generally, rule of thumb, I'm sticking to marking everything out. Kind of skew it to one side. Didn't really notice. Can't really see what the camera sees as I'm doing the tattoo and I get so sucked into it, I forget to check, but put it back in focus a little bit now. So I'm sort of just marking out my orange areas, my dark orange, my browns, some of my black. I'm quite a heavy hander when I wipe, so I end up smudging the stencil. So I try to just avoid losing my lines early on and make sure, make sure that everything's marked out. So when I come back through with my lighter colors near the end of the day, I don't have to worry about smudging my stencil. So. And tigers are always really nice. Tigers, lions, well maybe not so much lions, but mainly tigers or leopards or cheetahs. Those kind of cats which have like the heavy black fur, you've got the stripes or the spots. It makes it so much easier to map everything out because you can just put all the black in and then you're pretty much halfway there, all the hard parts done. And then it's the fun begins, you know, just coloring in. Lions are always are a little bit more tricky because you haven't got as much in the way of dark tones you have to like really up the contrast to get all that dark in there so just going through getting up to the elbow now poor guy that sucks if anyone knows what the elbow feels like it's no fun at all and it's his first toe so that's probably it for the best so he's got no nothing to compare it to he sat like a rock to be fair getting on to all the good bits now with the mid-tones I always try and say to my customers, you know, like trust the process for a good like three, four hours of the day. It kind of looks a bit, a bit crap. Doesn't really look like what it's supposed to look like. You see people looking at their arm, looking at me thinking, Jesus, does this guy even know what he's doing? And then for those last few hours, he's like, oh, okay, I see where he's going with this. So we're starting to look pretty decent now. Now we're on the last few layers. I feel like with any animal, especially with fur texture, it doesn't really look that realistic until you get like the last super bright colors in to really make the fur pop. It tends to look pretty flat, at least for most of the day in my, in my experience until the end, just before the white especially, and then the white just brings everything together. Right now I'm just focusing on making sure everything is super saturated. Got my big massive 23 mag out for that bit behind the ear. That was so satisfying. I just love tattooing big, large areas of smooth color. It's one of the most fun things to do, honestly. I think I was just waiting for that all day. Just about to put the white in, I think. Last few little bits of yellow. Just like I said, to make the sun glow off that side of the face. I added some extra colors in that weren't in the original image, but I just wanted it to look really warm and really make it look like the tiger was in a sunset. Just tow in a red moon. Just kidding, it's bleeding. And um, I'll leave you with the leave you with the white. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Oh, it's banging still.